What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about exactly what a cybersecurity analyst does in the day to day workflow. Now, I think it's worth mentioning that this depends greatly on the company that you're in. If you're in a smaller organization, you're going to be doing a lot of different things, right? You're going to be wearing a bunch of different hats and you know, this I think is a good starting point for somebody that's coming into security. Uh, so you can really get uh, your hands in everything and learn better and in a faster manner than somebody who might be at a bigger corporation. Now that brings me to my other point. If you're at a bigger corporation, you might not be wearing a lot of hats. You might be at a position where you have a defined job title and you touch a certain amount of tools and your job role really doesn't change day to day. So all that being said, take this into consideration when you consider a day to day life of somebody in cybersecurity. It really can vary depending on the company. So your typical morning in security is usually going to start with two things, right? Typically, you're going to have some kind of morning meeting where you and your team discuss, you know, um, events, anything that needs to be handled, anything that is potentially holding you back from getting your work done um, and just go over the day or go over yesterday and what you were able to accomplish or not accomplish. And it's a good time to meet and collaborate with the team. And guys, that's going to bring me to simply learn. And what we're talking about specifically is their cybersecurity expert program. For those of you that don't know who simply learn is, they're a premier online platform for educational content, including boot camps and courses. Now, what I like about this certification in particular is it outlines a lot of the key things that we need to know for some of the certifications out there, such as the CompTIA certifications track, EC Council, and the CISSP, which is obviously top tier, one of the best certifications out there. Now, what I like about this course is the hands-on learning. It's easy to just read a book, but it's harder to apply it. And when you apply it, that's when you really get the benefit of the knowledge. And for their hands-on learning, you're gonna have live interactive courses. In those live courses, you're gonna get real world projects that you'll be able to apply to the workforce when you actually get out there on your own. Now, as you know, cybersecurity is expected to grow by 23% in the next 10 years. This is a great opportunity to put something on your resume that's really gonna make you stand out amongst the rest. And again, just to reiterate, you're gonna get CompTIA Security Plus training. You're gonna get EC Council's Certified Ethical Hacker training, as well as CISSP training. That includes network security, data encryption, disaster recovery, asset security, everything that you can possibly need to flourish going into the field of security. Another thing that I love about Simply Learn, they're backed by Forbes for having courses that are provided by reputable universities and organizations. So guys, the next cohort's starting soon and there's limited seats available. So you can join by using this link right up here or also I'm gonna put it down in the description in case you wanna look at it after we're done with the video. So once again, I just wanna thank Simply Learn for sponsoring this video and I can't wait to see what your journey looks like with Simply Learn. Now, the other part of the morning, might consist of you checking your emails, right? This is a common theme for a lot of people. They like to look at their emails in the morning, uh, see what came in overnight, or see what came in late the day before or early morning, right? It's a good time to relax and look through those things and handle them as you need. Now, the next part of the day could typically involve going through looking at your tickets, any escalated tickets that are coming through, right? And I'm trying to kind of generalize a normal day. Um, this isn't specific to my role. It could be different day to day, but I'm kind of generalizing what I've seen in my experience with the past jobs um, and companies that I've been with and kind of what the workflow is. And 
typically you want to look at ticketing, right? You want to make sure that any tickets that have came in have been escalated from help desk or in front of you and you're understanding who they go to or maybe how to resolve them if they are something that you should be handling as a security analyst. Now, tickets in this kind of position can be anything from Windows administration or Linux administration um, or, you know, dealing with the firewall, email security, endpoint detection and response security, you know, looking through alerts that have came in um, that were being reported on or anything like that. So if you're somebody new to this, any of those things I just mentioned, make sure you have some kind of understanding when you come into the field of those things that you understand a little bit of system administration. Maybe you understand a little bit of uh, PowerShell or Bash scripting. These things will come in handy for you for the day-to-day -day workflow. A good part of your day can consist of projects as well. Uh, oftentimes your uh, management will give you projects that they want you to work on continuously. Uh, and what I mean by that is anytime that you're not doing day-to-day -day operations, like, um, you know, dealing with, you know, email security or anything like that, like ticketing, um, typically you're gonna wanna work on your projects that you have going on. Uh, and this can vary greatly uh, from company to company depending on what they're trying to get done and what you've been assigned this can take up a large portion of your day um, if you're not in being involved with anything that um, you know any customers or other employees need assistance with it's a good time to get some of your projects done uh, so that's typically how I will spend you know the majority of my time if I'm not doing those other things that I've mentioned it's also worth noting right around that time where I'm, you know, diving into anything that I have on my project list. It's a good time to take a lunch, take a break, kind of step away from the computer, refresh your eyes, kind of gives you a little bit of breathing room to help focus yourself to, you know, tackle the next half of the day. Now, Another part of the average security analyst day is going to be discussing um, solutions um, or fixes with vendors, right? If you're at a company, you're working with other vendors that are, you know, giving you solutions um, to secure your environment. And with that comes breaks and um, solutions that need to be met. So a lot of times you will um, be following up on tickets and in order to do so, you, you know, you'll be reaching out to um, vendors to uh, have them find solutions to their products. Every vendor is not perfect. Um, products have bugs in them. That's just the way of technology. And sometimes you have to sift through that and work that out between you and the vendor to come to the conclusion that sometimes, you know, there are product bugs and it's good for the vendors so that they can find fixes to um, issues in their product as well. But keep that in mind. A lot of your day sometimes will just be dealing with on the phone with people trying to resolve issues, uh, whether that's just you and you know another vendor, or maybe that's a collaborative effort with you and your team and a vendor. Um, it really depends on the day. So guys, I really just wanted to give you a high level understanding of what goes on in the day-to-day -day security analyst life. Sometimes I see videos and, and you know, they're kind of, uh, boring, right? They're like videos of somebody just filming themselves typing or, you know, on a screen or something like that. I wanted to bring you guys a real life example of what you'll be doing in security from day to day to give you a better understanding and more insight and not me sitting here typing, looking at a computer screen on a time lapse for eight hours. That is not going to help you at all understand uh, some of the things that you'll be doing when you get into the field. So if you are somebody that's looking to get into the field, good luck. Uh, go through my channel look at all the videos I have on there they're very helpful and they can teach you a whole lot uh, to get your foot into the door and start this awesome career thanks guys for watching and always hit the subscribe button down below and subscribe to the channel you get all my latest videos when you hit the bell notification and my newest videos so I will catch you guys in the next video see you later